Hello and welcome to another lesson that is part of the TI30 XB student course. In this lesson, we will perform some calculations involving squared numbers, square roots and pi. Let's have a look at our first example. Our first example is asking us to use a calculator to establish a link between squared numbers and square roots. Here, we're going to use the TI30 XB to calculate the following. 7 squared and the square root of 49, 20 squared and the square root of 400, and 32 squared and the square root of 1024. After we perform those calculations, we'll then look at uh, part B and what that is asking us. Okay, so let's move to the calculator. And what we're going to do now is we're going to enter 7. We're going to press the X squared button and press enter. And it shows us that 7 squared is equal to 49. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to press second X squared, and that pastes the square root sign onto the calculator screen. Then we press second and the negative sign key, and that pastes the previous answer onto our calculator screen, and then press enter. And what that's showing is that the square root of 49 is equal to 7. So we're back to where we started from. Now let's see what happens when we repeat that for 20 and for 32. So we enter 20, we press the X squared button and then press enter and 20 squared is equal to 400. Now we press second X squared and we now press second and then the negative sign key. So now we're calculating the square root of 400. We press enter and we're back to where we started from. The square root of 400 is equal to 20. Now let's enter 32, press X squared, press enter and 32 squared is equal to 1024. Then we press second X squared. We then press second and then the negative sign key. Now we're calculating the square root of 1024. We press enter and we get the answer 32. So what's going on? Well, if we have a look at part B, it asks us to basically take a positive whole number N, square that number, and then take the positive square root of that number or of the result. What is the resulting number? And what we've been able to show is that the resulting number in each case is N, the number that we started with. And it illustrates the link between squaring and square roots. They are, if you like, opposite operations of each other. Okay, let's have a look at our second example. And our second example relates to a calculation involving pi. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to show how a calculator can be used to establish an order of fractions, decimals, and percentages. And in particular, we're going to look at the fraction 22 on 7, which is sometimes used to estimate pi. And what is really important for you to understand is that there's actually no fraction that is equal to pi. Here, we're going to use the TI30 XB to determine whether that fraction 22 on 7, whether it's bigger or smaller than the calculator's decimal value for pi. So let's have a look at this. So for example, what we could do is we could attempt to calculate 22 on 7 minus pi. So we enter 22, we press the fraction key, and then we enter seven in the denominator box, and then we press the arrow out to the right to move out of the denominator box. We press the subtraction key. Now, pi has its own uh, button, so we press the pi key there, and we press enter. And we get an answer of 0 0.001, etc., etc. Now, that decimal is greater than zero. 
And so therefore we can conclude that 22 over seven is indeed greater than pi, bigger than pi. This example helps to illustrate an important property that if you have two numbers A and B, that A minus B greater than zero means therefore that A is greater than B. Okay, that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching and bye for now.